Hey dolls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how can you create this burgundy brown coverage candle look easy way. So, let's get it started. I'm gonna start totally bare face. First, I'm gonna apply Skin Spoon Day Primer from Sister Cosmetics. Make sure to let it absorb deep down your skin, so I'm leaving it for a little while. I'm gonna do my brows first. I'm using a ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil in shade Cold Coco. Always make sure to use a spoolie to blend the inner side of your brows so it won't look so fake but natural yet carved and dramatic. Next I'm using a brow gel from Colourpop in shade Dark Brown and trust me, this is my holy grail and favorite of course. Now I'm using a two concealer from Sister Cosmetics in shade Ivory to carve my brows and I love, love the consistency of this concealer. Just make sure to use a very precise brush for carving. Using the same concealer on my lids to prime my eyes and applying it with this cute small brush from a tiny London HD blind set. Now I feel like that my primer is absorbed. So I'm using an orange corrector from Sister Cosmetics under my eyes, blending it with the blender from Real Techniques even though I hardly have any blackness around that area, but I still use it anyway. Now I'm using Issue Foundation from Sister Cosmetics and I think it's good for daily use because it's buildable yet not very thick. Now I'm using the same concealer under my eyes that I have used before and using the same blender from Real Techniques. Next I'm using a baking powder from Huda Beauty and I love it because it literally prevents your under eye area from creasing and it's amazing. I'm using a pink blossom powder from Sister Cosmetics which is so cute, wearable and I'm loving almost every shade of this palette. First, I'm taking this coffee pinkish kind of shade as a transition and fluffy brush from Prefusion Cosmetics. Keep your motions in circular or back and forth so it will blend very well, intensifying the same color using same motions. This pink purplish shade and applying it in my crease with a brush from Wen Wow. Keeping 
swing the motions back and forth for the crease. Next, taking the darkest shade from the palette for an outer V and intensity of the crease. Make sure to blend everything very well. Our dreams appear. I know that we can rise together. This vision that we share is ours. Together we can touch the stars. I know that we will see December. Cause when it's all over, the love that you give. Using this shimmery shade from the palette as a base. Next, using the same darkest shade from the palette from a lower lash line and blending it. Next, taking this black single shade from Color Noir to define my lower lash line with a flat brush. I'm not going for a very dramatic or a winged liner for my eyes, simply smudging this black shadow over my lash line, if this makes sense. Next, using this matte and melted shadows from Huda Beauty for my lid, the shimmery side basically, and blending it with my finger. Make sure to blend it as soon as possible because it dries out real quick. Taking this lightest shimmery shade from the palette and using it as a highlighter. Now I'm curling my lashes. Make sure to use it before mascara so that your natural lashes would merge into the fake ones. Now I'm using a mascara and trust me you can keep this look the way it is right now and it looks very cute. But if you need to make it a little more dramatic, use the fake lashes then. I'm using lashes in Fara from Huda Beauty and I apply them off camera. The summer's calling. If the kingdom is overthrown, meet me at the cornerstone. I know that I can't be without you. And here is the final look. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. See you in my next video. Bye dolls. It took me forever to find you. Cause when it's all over, the love that you give will be there to guide you in every way.